keep tabs on the mule deer all year long. The area we're going to be going to only allows hunting Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And as we're into the second week of the season, a lot of the bucks I have been watching have been pushed around. And with the rut picking up, it's always good to go out and do a little bit of spotting before the big hunt. I got a good friend coming out in a couple of mornings and we're hoping to find a big old mature buck like this. This guy doesn't have the best forks, but look at that neck. Big old mature deer with a great looking frame. I guess the mule deer rut is on. Uh, I saw that buck and then a bigger one yesterday in here. I just wanted to come have a look. Doing spotting, got a mule deer hunt uh, tomorrow. And I just wanted to come figure out exactly which quarter this was so I could try and get some permission today uh, so we can come in here tomorrow. Um, yeah, that buck was 300 yards out there working that doe. The doe came to the road and they ended up passing 40 yards from me. Um, that buck knew I was here, but he just didn't care, so things are starting to heat up. Uh, I got Mr. Keith Bratt coming out tomorrow. Hopefully we can find him a good deer. <laughs> so Mr. Bratt, 2015 mule deer season. You ready? I was born ready. I got up at 3 o'clock last night. could barely f fall back to sleep, so... Uh... Hopefully I don't fall asleep this morning trying to shoot my deer, <laughs> but I'm ready. <laughs> That's funny, I uh, I woke up about an hour and a half before my alarm too and I don't even have a tag, so uh, this mule deer hunting can really captivate a guy, that's for damn sure. All right on, I'm excited, let's go see if we can find a big these one. These are the fourth and fifth bucks of the day, the first three weren't worthy of uh, pulling out the camera, but these ones look okay and looks like we might have a little bit of a fight coming. The land is all posted, I think they're a hunting family, so if he's a stomper, I'd call and ask, but uh, I doubt that we'd get permission. And the one on the right that's coming down, he's a nice looking buck, dark horn, but he's definitely smaller than that one that I had spotted where we were at earlier this morning. Oh really? Yeah, definitely. The one bottom one is the one that I'm not 100%. He looks like he forks pretty good. Yeah, he's just he's hard to judge because he's because of his <laughs> color. He's so um, light. Yeah, but no, he's a he's a decent buck that one. But neither one of them have big, huge bodies. Like, I'm pretty sure that one that I showed you video of that. Uh, Kind of our target buck, at least till we find something bigger, is uh, I think a, a bigger deer than either of these. Yeah, too bad he's just a three. That four point side sure nice. He's just a three, huh? Yeah, definitely not a shooter. We went from bluebird skies to a sudden snowstorm, but we kept on seeing bucks.
As soon as the snow cleared, we came across an absolute gorgeous buck. I'd been watching this deer in the archery season a month previous and decided he had to go on the no-shoot list. Now I'm not opposed to shooting the odd younger deer for the freezer, but we all have to agree that some deer are just special and really should be given the opportunity to reach their potential. A deer like this, if allowed to get old, will be a true buck of a lifetime. Like, look, he's not much bigger than the does. Like, he's 40 yards away, not even scared. The crappy thing is, somebody's gonna shoot this buck. You know, like, how like can you not with all that junk? It's like a seven by seven. But. He's heavy. That's one, like, if he can make another year or two, he'd be like your 220 inch giant. But like, look, he's the same size as those does. That's a two and a half, three and a half year old deer. Yeah. That's like, that's a special deer. Oh, if he was where I could shoot though, I'd shoot that. I love that he's got that yeah. six point look. He's three, five, three. He's way more than seven by seven. On his right horn, he's got No, he just got, he's got really nice, like he's probably only as wide as the last one I shot, like 17, 18 inches wide. But I just like the, you know, I like the junk. Well, he's uh, massively non-typical on that right side, especially. Beautiful looking, like he's only got the one extra point on the left. But it kicks out neat. Yeah, oh yeah. And that right side is phenomenal. But like he's just barely bigger than the does. You know, like that's awesome. You know, we're sitting here with a mule buck tag. You look at this deer, just crazy, crazy non-typical points. He's 140 frame tops. If you look at his body compared to the does, same size as the does, like three and a half year old tops. That deer, if he could make one more year, he could put a 40 inch jump on, he could be pushing 200 next year. Look when he goes in behind. It barely has any swelling in the neck, like two, four, six, seven. Yeah, that's. And you know how I said, like that, my perfect deer with the perfect two, two, two. That's close. He's got two, 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 and then the main beam underneath. But two, four, six, seven, brow tine eight, three, five, eight by six. Well, I wasn't sure if Keith was going to pack his bags and find somebody else to hunt with after I strongly urged him not to shoot that non-typical. But he stuck around and we went out the next morning. We're right back on to some big old muley bucks. Okay, we spotted the buck we're looking for. We're just doing a stalk here. The wind in her face. We're going to do this. It's go time. We spotted the buck bedded in a small coulee from a long ways off. At first glance he maybe didn't look as impressive as that non-typical, but Keith had a good look at him. He had a big frame and really good forks and decided this is the deer he wanted, so the stock was on. I'm just a little higher, he's 150 yards, he's to the left of that tanks and stuff. You just gotta go another 15 yards forward.
Oh, he's down. <laughs> he's down. Good shoot. Oh. Good buck. That's your best, eh? Yeah, that's my best. That'll be 160, don't you think? Oh, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I say, his frame's not the hugest, he, but his fork's so he's nice. And he's pretty, like, and I love that, all that uh, sawdust in his bases. Yeah. And the double little brows, those are nice too. Triple on this side. Oh, triple on that side? I don't know if they're an inch for score, but. Yeah, I know they wouldn't be, but that's a beauty. Look at that one main beam out curls out. Look like at that. Yeah. Look at the Roman nose. Look at that's a big deer. <laughs> I know I hit him hard. Oh yeah. I hit him hard like I heard that. Oh and he's he up and uh, buckled and humped up like he was hit hard and like you say that first shot would have been enough but. <laughs> but that's how the brats roll. Yeah. Like, that. And... like you say I was pretty surprised Mr. Keith Bratt last time I had him out here mule deer hunting, I literally took his bullets away and doled him out because he wanted to shoot every 130 buck we saw. But yesterday, Keith did pass on this buck. And uh, then I showed him some good video of him I had from a week previous and uh, he decided that that was maybe a silly idea to do. But passed on a lot of good deer so far, only second morning of the hunt. But how many bucks so far do you think? Uh, we're in the 20s like probably high 20s and that's yeah. the decent box like you know not yeah. counting the two pointers and spikers yeah. and no we've seen a lot of good deer yeah so uh no i'm back to loving jeff again <laughs> yeah i wasn't so popular last night when uh i nice i told him i could get permission he keeps telling him that i said no but i i did throw out a couple of mild hints that i'd rather that deer not get shot i don't know if you picked up on those or not yeah, but uh, look at the baby body on it look at it's just a baby Oh, it's a little cutie. It's like a doe with antlers. You know, but uh, it's a tough thing to do sometimes, but that's how you get big mature bucks, you know, if you shoot the every nice little one you see. I've got hunting memories with Keith going right back to when I was a teenager. Now that we put on a few years, it sure is special to be able to share a few of these new memories with our own kids and families. This hunt was great. Well, the next morning, Keith was on his way home with a nice muley buck in the back of the truck, so I went out looking for a whitetail. But wouldn't you know it, the first buck I ran across was this big bodied old buck that we had spent a bit of time looking for. Looks like he'll get to live another day. Hope you guys enjoyed this Fair Chase Outdoor Chronicle. Have a great day.